Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick 9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to talk about the 1970s television show, Chips. I hope you're enjoying the video so far and make sure to take a look at my Chips playlist as well as a playlist to my other videos that I have on my channel. A lot of classic shows for you to enjoy, so I hope you do like them. Now today we're going to be focusing on the two individuals, Larry Wilcox and of course Eric Estrada. Now they played the two characters officers John Baker and Frank Poncharello. Now I do want to talk about the actors and the kind of relationship they had of course off camera because when we see them we see them on camera we see that they're pretty much the best of friends they get along well professionally and personally for the most part of course for being together a lot of the day in terms of the episodes and the show that we see but there was a little bit of tension a little bit of drama off camera guys and gals and it does stem from larry wilcox and his position now you have to understand that in the show larry wilcox that is john baker was chosen to be the main person to head up the show it was his personality that basically was supposed to grab us that we were supposed to like that was the main dude the main guy in his sidekick, his Robin, that is to say, was going to be Frank Poncharello. Now, I will make more videos on the fact that he was actually Frank Poncharelli with an I, Italian versus Poncharello, Latin guy. But that'll be for another video. But I do have to tell you that that's how it was built before. It was built, of course, John Baker as the main guy and then Poncharello as the sidekick. But what happened is time went on inevitably people like who they like and everyone started to gravitate both men and women toward the character of Eric Estrada or that was played by Eric Estrada and that created a little bit of friction because of course think about it you're hired for a specific position you're supposed to be the main person and then all of a sudden your boss is deferring more attention or deferring more to your assistant it would definitely be something difficult now Eric Estrada was receiving instead of a couple letters of fan mail as more time went on it started to become sacks that is sacks and sacks of mail huge amounts of mail compared to Larry Wilcox and this created a little bit of friction because sometimes if Eric Estrada would flub a line while he was on set something like that Larry would, Wilcox would get kind of upset he he would just kind of throw a little bit of a snarky comment or just make a facial feature that was a little bit hostile. Now also, whenever they would have rehearsals, it was very well known that Larry Wilcox would show up late and that made everyone upset, not only Eric Estrada, but the other people, the cast and crew and so forth. And it was unlike his personality. The number one man was slowly becoming equal with the number two and the number two was becoming number one and in fact he was the most popular guy on the show people were tuning in to see eric estrada and of course as i mentioned that caused friction on set i want to know what you think about this guys and gals what does someone like a producer or someone like a director do do they just go with it go with the fame of another character that is well the show is getting popularity because of another actor or because of unexpected circumstances or do you make corrections do you try to make the audience kind of like the other character that you liked in the first place it does create a little bit of tension but the show did last six seasons and that is a feat unto itself for a t television show even during this time so that's not bad at all i want to know your thoughts as always down below in the comments i'd love to hear from you i'm going to be making more videos on chips if you do want to see more don't forget to subscribe it's absolutely free hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment I love reading your comments it is so much fun i love to write back to you as well we'll see you next time and don't forget Thank you to everyone who supports me and my channel, especially through Patreon, where you could be listed on here. My awesome diamond tier patrons, Gary N, Sydney R, David D, and Ricky. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you back real soon. Links, playlists, to my other 1300 videos could be found in the description.